Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth Marshall Art Fitness. I got me a haircut. I mean, I, I did it myself. Um, I don't go to the barber or nothing. I even trimmed a little bit, you know, look better. Um, basically, you get that fly fly look. Um, pretty much, it's just um, I've been reading on Bruce Lee's Tao Te Kung Do. Um, Bruce Lee's complimentary ways on the martial art way. I read it before. I'm just kind of going back over some stuff that I kind of want to basically just relearn, retrain on things. And this book here is what made me get into the martial arts. And even the Tao of Chief Kundo, his first book, um, is what got me into martial arts. Um, basically, Jeet Kune Do is, to me, what I understand of Jeet Kune Do, it's a form of boxing. It's not, um, it does have kicks, it does have grappling, it has Jiu Jitsu in it, but in the title of Jeet Kune Do, it actually, basically just teaches boxing in, in, in its first book. It basically teaches you how to get in shape, teaches you how to box, and... And basically, it's the science behind it. And that's how I understood Jeet Kune Do. Um, but this Jeet Kune Do book here, it actually has everything you need to know about a system. And I'll tell you what, I've read this book so many times. I, I, never, I never get tired of reading it. Because... Um, Bruce Lee is my inspiration to training um, in martial arts. Um, he's always fascinated me when I was flat on my back um, in the hospital from surgeries. I was watching him and I seen this five foot seven guy hollering and screaming, kicking some Japanese ass in a dojo with some nunchucks. And I was just like, and I couldn't figure out who he was. So my back doctor comes in and says, what are you watching? Because he was just seeing how I was doing and everything. And I said, I don't know, some Chinese dude hollering screaming in the Japanese dojo kicking some ass. And he, he looked at me, he's like, you don't know who that is? And I said, no, I don't. And the reason why that I didn't know who he was at the time, because I was younger. And... He's like, that's Bruce Lee. So, I, I, fell, I fell in love with the Chinese martial arts movies. Like, Bruce Lee, Jet Li, Jack Chan, Donnie Yen, Samuel Hung, to uh, Jackie Wu, um, to Tony Jaw. <laughs> but, really, how I learned most of my stuff, like, a lot of it, um, sometimes it's from movies, um, because if you don't have an instructor sometimes to train under, sometimes you go to movies to get ideas, and, and you try to do them yourself, and to me, it's like, I learned a lot from Jackie Chan, because a lot, of, a lot of people say he's like the next Bruce Lee. And I basically just, I basically just, uh, you know, learned a lot of his stuff. But he's not really the next Bruce Lee. I mean, I don't, I don't care what anybody says. He's not the next Bruce Lee. Yeah, he does study in nine different martial arts. Um... And I respect him because he, he's a legend. Um, he works hard in all of his films. Um, he does a good job at what he does. Um, he always makes me laugh in his movies. Um, that's the only thing I like about Jackie Chan. He never takes um, movies too seriously in his films. It's not always about fighting. It always has a story plot. And um, pretty much... That's what all Chinese martial short movies have, is story plots. They don't really have um, 
or sometimes they're just shooting up the place in, in the movies. Uh, I, I hate movies where they have shooting up in the place with no story plot behind it. Um, I always like the movies that have like the story plot to it because then it has a meaning behind it. Like, okay, well, there's this hero in this town and he goes out and becomes a hero for his people, you know? Something like that, you know? Um, but other than that, it's just, I learn a lot on YouTube and on most of my stuff, um, now. Um, sometimes I just been learning on my own. And, uh, basically just trying to stay fit, trying to, um, better myself every day whenever I can. I said sometimes my work gets in the way of it. Um, but I do, I do try to manage the workout in. Um, other than my days that I work late, I don't. I usually just let that be a rest day. Um, but when it comes to my earlier shifts, I would go down to the gym and train no matter what, or I'll train down here at my house in the yard, um, doing weapons and stuff like that. Um, I know you can't really bring traditional weapons to an actual fight. Um, nowadays they have guns. Um, that This is the new era, so really technically you can't carry a sword around, you can't carry nunchucks around, you can't carry a bow around, a staff around. You can carry a staff around, that's not a problem because you can just say it's a cane. Um, but. Like all these other traditional weapons you practice with, um, you can't really carry them on you um, for self-protection. Well, you can if you if you want in your car and stuff, but not not just to go around carrying them because you know people will kind of look at you strange, you know, or be scared of you, but. Not that much ain't really going on in my life right now. Um, I just been kind of like working and you know trying to make it and and everything. And I just uh, found me a better job, something I like. Um, I have no complaints with it. Um, you know, sometimes you gotta take pride in what you do and. A lot of people don't really get that about me is because they say, you know, you really take a lot of pride in your work. I said I do when it comes to what I do. And so I learned my lesson at my old job, you know, not to do what I did back then and water under the bridge. And um, I'm just trying to do things right at this job because um, back then, when I was working at the factory and stuff, I just, I just kind of hated it there, and I just wasn't happy there anymore, and, and then it's like, every time I went in the building, I always felt tension in the air, I always knew somebody was going to get mad at one another, I always knew when there was going to be a fight going on, and so I just didn't like that environment, and so... Now where I work at, I mean, it's more peaceful. I mean, I don't really get mad at anybody. Um, like how I did at the, at the factory. And basically, you know, I told myself once I get this job, I would change my ways on how I act. Because I, I was kind of going off of Johnny's teachings in, on Eagle Fang off Netflix of some of the things he says and I was kind of taking them to heart when I was working at the factory and <laughs> and basically it kind of got me fired because I was taking his stuff to be too serious and So pretty much, you know, you can never always go by off off the movies, um, what people teach in the movies. You know, you might get inspired by it, you know, some words might hit you the heart or something like that in the movies, um, but it's just the fact that 
a lot of times a lot of people will take things too serious and me I took it I took it serious and everything else <laughs> and they didn't like it and they thought I was a jerk pretty much I just didn't take any bullshit and, said, and that's what I don't do I don't take any bullshit and that's what most people try to do is try to get me to take bullshit when I don't have to and that's the thing nobody has to take bullshit and that's what I, that's what I'm trying to say is you know if somebody gives you a lot of shit through your work or maybe in a relationship you know whatever it may be you don't have to take you know um, sometimes most people think you gotta take the bullshit um, but you really don't um, it's just a lot of times when when you feel like you know, people are just giving you a bunch of shit. Well, you don't really have to take the bullshit. You know, just ignore it. and Or just stand up for yourself if you're tired of it. And once you start standing up for yourself, you might actually get respect. And that's what I do anymore. I stand up for myself. And people respect that because I, I do stand up for myself. And I don't, I don't take no crap. And, um, and that's the thing, it's just a, a lot of times when you get tired of it in a way and, and you just feel like you just get backed into a corner too much and, um, you just get backed into a corner too much and I just, I just tell myself no more getting backed into a corner no more being weak, no more, you know, being, you know, used by people and, and stuff like that. I'm ch I've am i changed over the years, um, I've learned my lessons and everything, and I just, you know, sometimes you just got to move on and, you know, learn from your mistakes, you know, over time. And... And stuff like that. And, that. and that's the thing, you know, with with me, you know, I don't take things too serious in a once in a while. All the time. It's just, like, like I said, if I love somebody or something like that, I'll give them my heart. But if they ain't gonna want to love me back, it's like, I'm done. You know what I mean? It's because it... You know, it just shows that if you know that the other person doesn't love you, why be there for them? So, it's just kind of hard for me sometimes to let go of things. And, because you still have that love for that person, you still have that love for that friend <laughs> or whatever and but you wonder why they did that to you you know what I mean and, and it's just sometimes it's just you gotta learn to let go too and letting go is the most hardest thing there is to do and and then and that and, and, and that basically, <laughs> that basically just taught me a lot over the years that I've been in relationships and or friendships or whatever in my life is that, you know, if that person don't want to be there for you when you need them, time to let them go. Or if your friend doesn't want to be there for you or whatever, time to let them go. You know, because, you know, if they call you up every time they want something out of you, you're always there for them. But when you call them up, they don't want to show up for you, 
then just let them go. Just don't be their friends anymore. Because all they're doing is basically pretty much using you, giving you bullshit, giving you shit all the time. And that's all they do is give you shit. So if you don't want that toxic life, sometimes it's best just to let go. And now that's how I see it. And that's how I learned. You know, if you don't want a toxic relationship, especially with my stepfather back in the day, um, I was living in a toxic relationship with him. He was very abusive toward me. And um, his name was Carl Schulte Jr. His name was Carl Henry Schulte Jr. And he was very abusive toward me and everything. And I just basically just. I, I just had enough of it. And so I started training in my martial arts secretly again. And I used what I did, what I knew from my sensei. And so to help protect me. And I was getting the best shape ever. And he didn't know I was working out on the side because I, I was supposedly in trouble. And I couldn't do anything because of him when he was around. But I was training secretly without him knowing. And so, because it was like I was of age, I can do whatever I wanted, but he was treating me like I was two. Like I was five or six or something. And I was like a grown adult. And, um,. So I got, I got tired of that toxic relationship. One day I just woke up and said I had enough. And I got out of that situation. He got two years probation. He should have got jail time because he tried to murder me. Um, but other than that, I mean, after all I've been through, plus the car wreck and everything, you know, I've been kind of like thinking back. You know, I've been more stronger, more better, um, more faster. And, you know, just living life, just going with the flow of things. And somebody asked me at work, you know, how do you, what do you think of life? And I said, well, life is just going with the flow and just live it. And that's how I see it. Um, I mean, he was kind of shocked on that answer. And... And he's like, I never heard anybody say that. Uh, I said, well, me, it's just, that's what I try to do. Um, if somebody tries to block me, I try to go around it to intercept. You know, it's kind of like with life. You know, when something hits you hard, you got to learn to go around that to intercept. To intercept back. And that's the thing. It's just... Yeah, life can suck in a once in a while. I mean, I can tell you that. Um, but life doesn't always suck. But you do get your bad days and you do get your good days. That's all I'm saying. It's just, you know, sometimes you gotta learn to let things go. And when you learn to let things go, things seem more better for you. And because you gotta want you gotta, you gotta want to better yourself. And if you hate being in an environment you're in, or in a toxic relationship, or um, whatever, or a toxic friendship, um, toxic, toxic relationship with your parents, you know, if you're tired of it, go out and get a life of your own. Better, better yourself. Make a promise to yourself that you better yourself every day. Better, better yourself what you're doing. Better yourself on what you're doing um, than what they are. You know, that's what I always tell myself. You know, I'm doing better than what Carl is. Uh, I'm doing better than what he is. Or, out of all my S's, I'm doing better than what they are. Because, you know, 
it's their loss. You know, they didn't want to be with me. I said, that's their loss. It, it's not mine. So, um, I mean, yeah, you know, losing a girlfriend or losing, like, somebody you love, you know, whatever, it's just, time heals. When time heals from that pain, you get stronger. That's all I'm saying. And like I said, I don't, I don't really have much to talk about, a little motivation talk. Plus, what I learned from things in my martial arts, and I know a lot of people don't really like to watch my talk videos that much, because uh, I really don't know a whole lot to, what to talk about. <laughs> so, please hit the like, subscribe. Uh, basically, just learn to let go and learn from your mistakes in life and never hold grudges against anybody. I mean, I'm, I never hold grudges against anybody. It's just, unless if they do me really, 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 really like, unless if they do me really, really wrong, and I know they done me wrong, um, but sometimes I would hold grudges toward that person. Um, but I've also learned to forgive over time. And so, there you have it. Said martial art fitness, talking about learn to let go of things and learn to move on. And um, that's what I do. That's how I live life. That's how I flow with life. If, if I don't feel like that, somebody's going to be there for me or... Uh, or anything or doesn't have my back when I need them or when they or they want me or whatever and I'm always there for them that, and they're not there for me that's when I just learn to let go because I just tell them I said I'm just not, I just get I said I'm just done and so just learn to let go people you know in life you know you know somebody's doing you wrong um, yes, that is the hardest thing to do, and, but you feel better about yourself, and I know I have over the years, when I've learned to do that, yes, it is hard, yes, it is heartbreaking, um, but you become more stronger, more better, and more faster than anything you do, and, Plus, you be more focused on yourself. And that's all I'm saying. Seth Martial Art Fitness. Signing off. Please hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Hit the bell. Hit, hit all. Get every one of my videos. And stay motivated. And train hard, train smart. Do your research. Boom.